Hello again, herb lovers. It's Tony here from Life, Love and Lettuce. And I want to talk to you today about what to do if you want to have the very best tea tasting experience and what you can do is start growing your own. Mint tea, peppermint tea, it grows so easily in a pot. In fact, if it escapes the pot, it will take over your entire garden. But it is just wonderful compared to the dried mint that you buy in the shops. There are lots and lots of herbs that you can choose from to make amazing teas. Some of my favourites are peppermint and any of the other thousands of mint families or variations. There's pineapple mint, there's chocolate mint, there's spearmint, there's all kinds of mints. Um, the rose geranium is one of my favourite absolute favorite teas and not I don't think anything that you'll buy anywhere beautiful plant there is chamomile chamomile flowers fresh are just wonderful and if you dry your own you have the most amazing chamomile tea for the year lavender is a lovely lovely tea you can drink the blossom from most citrus fruit which is beautiful lemon lime you can use the leaves, which make wonderful flavours. You can use the skin of mandarins or any citrus fruit. If it's dried and put in your tea, it is just delicious. We have pineapple sage outside, which is a wonderful flavour. We have lemongrass. You can chop the, um, the long, thin leaves up and put those in a tea and they are wonderful. There's all the lemons, there's lemon balm, there's lemon verbena, there is actually just lemon by itself. What else is there? So, so many herbs that you can be growing for teas in your garden and that will grow happily in pots for you. One of my favourite books for teas is this one, a homegrown tea by, I can't even say it, Cassie Liversidge. Anyway, Homegrown Tea, I'll leave a link. It is a beautiful book. There are so many things in here that are possibly way beyond what we're talking about at the moment. Bee balm, I've said lemon balm. All the balms, violets, violet leaves, roses, rose petals. Basil tea is amazing. Tulsi, which is sacred basil, is just a wonderful tea. Really good for your mood and just a very, very flavoursome and refreshing brew first thing in the morning. So have a look at your seed catalogue. Have a look online. Have a look at possible teas that you could plant in your pots for your garden. We've talked about how to make sure that you're putting them in a pot that's the right size for what you're growing and have some fun picking out some wonderful herbs to grow in your tea garden. Love and lettuce. Bye for now.